Okay, we're doing another redox reaction, but this time it's in basic solution. So same thing as before, we're gonna split our full reaction into half reactions. This is the most fun part. CO2. Okay, so now make sure everything's balanced. 1MN, 1MN. There's two carbons here, so we gotta put a two in front of this. So there's two carbons, two carbons. So now let's balance the oxygens. There's four on this side and two on this side. So we're gonna add two water molecules. But now there's four hydrogens on this side and none on this side. So we're gonna add four hydrogen molecules. But this is where we stop and we go into what happens when you're balancing in basic solution versus acidic solution. So with acidic, in the last video, it was you add four hydrogen ions and you're all good. Yay. However, since this is in basic solution, when water dissolves, you know that we get hydrogen ion and hydroxide ion. So since this is in basic, we can't just leave the hydrogen ion here. We have to add hydroxide ions. And whatever you add to one side, now it's unbalanced again because now there's four, eight hydrogens, and now there's only four on this side. And just like how there's four, eight oxygens, there's only four on this side. So we're also gonna add hydroxide to this side. Okay, we're gonna explain that again. We added hydrogen ions because we added water to this side. But since we're balancing a basic solution, we have to also add four hydroxide ions to either side of the equation. And since we know that hydroxide plus hydrogen ions gives us water, what helps me is to just remind myself that this is a water molecule. And since there's four of each of these, that means that there's four water molecules. Okay, so that's how we do the first half reaction. And for this one, this one's easy because there's already two carbons and four oxygens on either side. So we're good. Now we're going to balance the charges. So this, don't look at this. You don't really have to because it's minus four and plus four. So it's already even. But putting the water here reminds me that there's already a zero charge. So this is minus one on this side. And we have nothing here, nothing here, and minus four on this side. So in order to get this to equal this, we have to add three electrons to this side of the equation. So now we have minus three, minus one gives us minus four. So now that, that's even to the minus four on this side. And for this side, we have a minus two here, but nothing here. So we're gonna add two electrons to this side. So now the elements are balanced, the compounds, whatever, but the electrons on either side aren't the same. So we're gonna multiply each reaction by the common denominator of three and two to get the common denominator of three and two. So that's six, three times two and two times three. And these numbers will apply to everything in the equation. So the two is gonna to go to everything here and the three is gonna to go to everything here. So we're gonna rewrite that, six electrons plus, I'm gonna do four times two. So we have eight water molecules, two MnO4 minus, so two MnO2 plus, sorry, I'm gonna scrunch up, four waters plus eight OH minus. Okay, now we're gonna do the second one have three C2O4 minus two, two, six of the carbon dioxide, and now we have six electrons. So we have our two half reactions, everything's good, but now, just like with the other problem, we can cancel out some stuff that's extra. So I'm gonna write the whole reaction, put all the reactants on one side, all the products on one side. So these are the reactants from the first one. This is all this, just wrote, rewrote it down here. And I'm gonna write this one, C two O four minus two. Big arrow, and now we're gonna put our products down here. Plus four H two O plus eight O H minus goes to oops plus actually don't do that. C O two plus six E electrons. That was my bad. When you're going from step to step, make sure it's like how I did to put all the reactants on one side and all the products on one side. So now we can cancel out some stuff that we don't need. So we have six electrons on either side. That one's the given, keeps us on track. We have four 
on this side and eight on this side so we can get rid of all this and make that four. And that's it. We don't have to cancel out anything else, make anything, anything else happen. So now we're gonna move this and hope that it doesn't fall. It didn't fall, sorry. So I'm gonna be right down here. Plus two M N O four minus plus three C two O four minus two goes to two M N O two plus eight O H minus plus six C O two. So this is our reaction. So pretty, we did it. But before we can turn it in, we have to make sure and check our work. So let's check everything's balanced first. That's the easy part. Two MN, two MN, we're good. We have six C, six C. We have eight hydrogens on this side and eight on this side. Four oxygens plus eight plus 12. What is that? 12, 24. So four plus eight plus 12. Yay, we're all good. Everything's balanced. Let's double check. The charges are balanced on either side, so this doesn't have a charge. This is minus two plus minus six is minus eight. And then we have the minus eight on this side. So we're all good. Everything's balanced. This is in basic solution, so that's why we had to have the hydroxide ions. But this is how you balance a redox fraction in basic solution. If you have any questions, just let me know.